seeing a tick's back legs waving at you while it dines on your blood is not only gross and scary, but after you get over your panic, what do you do? At the speed of the internet, you turn to Google. Good luck. Removing an embedded feasting tick is no walk in the park, which of course may be just how you picked up your tick. So let me tell you how. Hello, I'm Dr. Neil Schultz, and welcome to Durham TV. Years ago, to remove a tick, people thought that if you smothered the tick with Vaseline or nail polish, the tick would withdraw and disengage to get air. But smothering it actually increases the chances of infection by making the tick regurgitate its Lyme-infected stomach contents into your skin. Just lovely. Another antiquated, sure-to-fail tick removal method was to burn the end of the embedded tick with the flame from a match. Hmm. Let's see. The tick is less than an eighth of an inch long and is attached to the skin, and you're going to put a roaring flame at the end of the tick? Bet you can figure out who really got burned. So now, most people advise a simple, straightforward technique. And quote, with tweezers, grasp the tick as close to your skin as possible. Pull the tick straight up and out. Pull gently until the tick lets go. Don't twist or jerk the tick suddenly because this may break off the tick's head or mouth. Do not leave any part of the tick in your skin." End quote. I must admit that using the technique I just discussed and others, I have never successfully coaxed a tick to withdraw, give up dinner, pick up a white flag, or simply disengage. All efforts at best have resulted in my removing most of the tick, but the mouth has always remained embedded in the skin. That then immediately invoked plan B. Out with local anesthesia to numb the tick embedded skin, and then with a scalpel blade, I easily remove the tick with the tiny piece of skin that the mouthpiece is stuck in. I send the body and mouthpiece to the lab to see if it's a Lyme tick, and if it is, then to find out whether it contains the Lyme germ called Borrelia burgdorferi. Try saying that 10 times fast. This is your takeaway. Unless you're very lucky or just know how to woo a tick, if you have an embedded one, don't try to remove it yourself. Go to your doctor or the emergency room. Leaving any part of the tick in your skin increases the chance of getting Lyme disease if the tick is infected, as does leaving the tick in your skin overnight. Just admit defeat and get help. Otherwise, the tick will win. Please join me again at DermTV.com. If you have a question, please send it to me by visiting dermtv.com slash question. I'm Dr. Neil Schultz, and thank you for watching today.